President Trump is facing mounting ethical challenges, but he doesn't really care about that stuff. So I asked three world-renowned ethicists to help me help him through these troubling times. We're here today to talk about ethics. So what are ethics? Generally speaking, ethics is really about uh, how should we behave toward other people. Thank you. So I'm going through the moral and ethical dilemma for the two of us. The president is very busy. He's traveling often. He's golf, golfing. Uh, what else is he doing? A lot of Twitter. A lot of Twitter. A lot of Twitter. He is, he's tweeting uh, quite a bit. You know, he makes priorities. And uh, it's not like ethics aren't on the list at all. They're just, um, just more towards the bottom. It's like when you make a shopping list. You need milk. You need eggs. You need foreign government money. You need to hire your relatives. You need travel ban, and then somewhere down there, ethics. It's quite a shopping list. Uh, yes. It might help you going forward as you think about these ethical issues to have women ethicists as well as us. Here's the thing, though. I just feel like gals want to do gal stuff. We're all uh, white now, too. Well, that's true. Help yeah. to discuss these issues with people of African descent or Hispanics. I love all the colors in the Crayola box. We really need to talk about the poor. Now, let me ask you a question. Lying, is that unethical? Like, almost never is it right to lie. Does the president know you're here with us having this conversation? Mm, no. Was that an ethical thing? You to mean, To mislead uh, him? That's a good question. Is it ethical? to mislead the president for his own good. For example, no, there's no more ice cream in the freezer. Or no, this is actually the third burrito you've had, even though it was only his second. That is the way in which we treat children because mm -hmm. they're not ethically responsible, yeah. right? No, that's so you're exactly being a right. paternalistic yeah. about with the president. That's it. Can you be a good person who's working for a bad person? Like that movie, Devil Wears Prada. That poor girl had to work for that very demanding boss, but she wasn't a bad person, right? She quit in the end. She did? Yeah. Hold on a second. She yeah, stopped you didn't watch the there? whole movie. No, I, I realized the woman was the main character, and I stopped watching. Yeah, she quit. <laughs> 2,000 years ago, there was a guy who was an emperor in Rome, really bad guy, his uh -huh. name was Nero, and yeah. he had an advisor, his name was Seneca. Mm -hmm. And Seneca tried to do his best to make better life for the Roman people. Mm -hmm. He ended up being invited to commit suicide. <laughs> Mr. Vice President, this could be a very dangerous situation if the president were mentally unstable. You need to be prepared to step in and save our country. Would not it be ethical for you to speed up this process a bit uh, under the 25th Amendment of the United States Constitution? So That's I didn't say that. I didn't say what he said. That is something you said that. So now, what is the 25th Amendment? Uh, the Constitution does provide that because mm -hmm. of physical or mental disability. The majority of the cabinet and the vice president can remove his powers as president and confer those powers on you. Well, shucks, golly, gosh darn. I wouldn't kick the presidency out of bed for eating crackers. I'm beginning to think that you might be clever as a fox. Well, I'll and say I... this. Uh, no one ever called me clever, but my wife Karen did once call me a fox. <laughs> I just want to be clear. You're probably a more canny politician, more capable of getting through disastrous budgets that will hurt the poor and give massive tax breaks to the rich, and that I'm worried that you're actually going to be better at being president than Donald Trump, but with the exact same goals. So what you're saying is that I'm not some corn-fed rube from Indiana, but I'm actually quite a clever political operator. Maybe I took this role as vice president knowing that all of this would happen. And I would be in the exact position that I'm in at the moment. That doesn't seem like me. I am a humble, humble man. I'm just little Mike Pence from Indiana, you know? I'm no one special, but gosh, shucks, golly, aw, I might just be the 46th president of the United States. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much. <laughs> Next time on The Book of Mike, how to avoid self-reflection. <laughs>